Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and today I'm bringing you another Dollar Tree DIY video. These are some of the items that I'm going to be using in the first DIY. Let's just jump into it. Okay, you guys, in the first DIY, I'm going to be staining two of these three wooden boxes from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using some antique white wood stain from Rosalium and I'm going to give him, be giving them three coats. Now I'm going to proceed to cleanse some of the um, stains, but you probably guys noticed already that this stain was like too liquid and it was like everywhere. It's the first time that I use it and it's going to be the last because I really don't like it. So yeah, now they are dry and ready, I'm going to mount them and I'm going to glue them with some um, some Gorilla wood glue and some um, hot glue for quick haul and I'm going to glue them in this window, window picture frame that I did in the past project. I was just being careful because I want them in the right position and at the same length. That's why I keep um, checking and coming and going with them around because I want them right. You guys, you know how I am already with the glue, so I was trying to use as little glue as I can or as I need. Um, and I was applying the hot glue at the top of the wood glue. Like I always say, um, I don't like to mix any glue and it works for me, so I keep doing it that way. So here I'm holding it for a little bit because you know it takes a minute before it gets dry. And I'm going to do the same thing with the with the other box. First apply the wood glue at the bottom and then apply the hot glue 
at the top of the wood glue. And let me tell you guys, it works wonderfully because I placed it in the hallway of my entrance and let me tell you, that doesn't go nowhere. It's pretty strong. It's got a real strong, firm hold. So, yeah. And this is what we got so far. I love how this window frame um, came out. I completely love it. And I hope that you guys like it too. Like I always say, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for keep coming back. And to the new ones, I hope that you really enjoy my video. And if you do, I really hope that you consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Now I'm applying more hot glue and more glue, um, wood glue in the back of the boxes to be certain that it is completely as here as the window frame and it doesn't go nowhere. There you have it. It's completely dry and completely strong. Now we are going to make it look prettier than already is. I'm going to use these um, foams also from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue a piece. I was running out so I used a small piece that I have left and I cut it in half and I'm going to place a piece in each of the boxes with some of my hot glue. Now I'm going to use cyphloral moss and this thing is messy. You know that guys, this thing is messy. I put some in each of the boxes and now I'm going to be placing some ferns and some of my other greenery that I got left from before. And I love this. I love how it came out. At the beginning, I thought that I was going to use just the whole bunch without cut them, but then I don't like the way they look. So I decide to cut them with my pliers and now my eyes were happy. So I keep putting, putting them like that. So yeah, I don't want flowers in this um, particular project. I decided that I was going to use just ferns and some greenery and that's what I did. It looks so pretty, you guys. It, from all the projects that I did today, to show you guys, this is my favorite one. I want you guys to tell me which one is your favorite when we're done. There you go, this is what we got. And now I'm going to place this family um, sign that I got left from before. I never used it. I stained it and then I distressed it with some white waverly um, chalk paint. And I'm going to glue it in the top of the frame. I'm showing you that I put the hand thing in the back already of the frame. And this is what we got left. Beautiful. I completely love it. Love it. There you have it. What you think, guys? Tell me 
down in the comments below what you think about this one. You like it? You don't like it? So yeah. Okay, you guys, in the second DIY, I'm going to be staining, no, no staining, painting this tray that I bought in, I think it was Dollar General, or I think I paid $5.99 or $6.99 for it, a little bit expensive, but I want it, so I bought it, and it's like, it's not even paint. It's like, um, what's the word that you use for that? Like raw um, wood? Is that how you say it? Anyway, I'm going to proceed to use some white Waverly chalk paint. And I'm going to give them, I'm going to give it two coats of white Waverly chalk paint. And sadly, after I wait and for the tray to get dry, I thought my camera was recording and I'm pretty sure the camera was recording you guys, but I can find the I can find the clip. It completely disappeared. It's like I don't know if it's my camera, I don't know is the editing um app that I'm using, I, I don't know what happened, but it's not the first time that happened to me, so I have to look into it. But anyway, I'm gonna walk you through it. After I painted the, the tray and it was dry, I used some um, decoration paper, that's how you guys um, call it, from um, Dollar Tree. is a shelf, a paper that you put in the shelf, like decoration, shelf paper um, and I love it and I have it for a long time and I never find how to use it so I decide to use it in the middle of the inside <clears throat> I'm sorry of the tray and after I apply the paper the decoration paper the contact paper I use some of my, I got some wood sticks that I buy, that I bought in Amazon. And I cut four of them, four pieces, and I apply them all around of the four corners, spaces, side, inside of the tray. And I also paint them in white with the same white Waverly chalk paint. And you guys, I don't know what happened, but it came out so pretty. Just look at it when I'm done and let me know in the comments below because um, I completely love it. And I hope you, like, you guys like it too. Look at this. And after I use my Krylon triple um, protection um, paint spray in clear and this thing works amazing in a lot of different things and this is how it came out look at this you guys I love it you see the inside the paper look like marble I don't know if you, you guys know what I'm talking about I mean, you can use it like a tray, you can use it like to put candles or photos or, I mean, I'm going to use it in my desk to put my notebooks or books and my craft stuff. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about it. And now the third and final, we made it. If you here, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to use this almost was a failure, you guys. Let me tell you. This thing is like a, um, is a bamboo table torch. I'm showing you the um, IQ over there in case that anybody like to bought it or check it out. And 
this one I bought it in Dollar General also together the same day that I bought the tray, the wooden tray. And I'm going to remove the middle of the um of the um, bamboo table torch. I mean, it got like some raffia inside, in inside of the middle of the torch. That's what I'm doing over here, like cutting it with my scissors after I remove the raffia, it got more inside. And I'm going to um, remove the blue turquoise um, can that it got in the top. That's where, I guess people, you know, light it up to use it like a torch. And I'm gonna cut the raffia in the sides first and then I'm gonna remove the, the can. Um, you guys, I thought that when I removed the raffia in the middle of the bamboo um, sticks, so I'm gonna call it like that, it was going to open up. I mean, it's going to be like a space in the middle, the same space that is in the top, at the top, um, at the bottom. I thought it was going to open. So my surprise, when I look at it and it's not going to open up, it's completely sealed. And I said, oh my God, so now what? Because my, I was going to, uh, my idea was to make a, a lantern from it. Can you imagine it was going to look real pretty? But I said, oh my God, what I'm going to do now? So I said, well, I'm going to use it like a, a home decor, a table decor, something. I'm going to do something with it because I really like it. And I have it for a long time too. So I'm trying to use everything that I got in my stash. Like, come on. So I got these um, wooden pieces. These are lids wooden lids they usually you find in candles in some candles when you buy candles so I keep the wooden lids because you guys like sometimes they are beautiful and I can use it in projects so I got like two over here a big one and a little one and I said well I'm gonna glue one in the bottom at the bottom with some um, hot glue and see if it holds. If it holds, I work with some, I work with it. And I came out with something. And I did, I saved my project. I tried the little one first and then I don't like it. And then I tried the big one and I decided to stick with that one. So I glue it and after I glue it, I keep thinking and I decide to paint, paint the bottom at the top with white, white original paint. So that's what I did. And you guys, I don't know, maybe it's not everybody's decor, but I have a lot of bamboo and a lot of clear um, wooden items in my home decor, so I went for it. And you know what this remind me to people? Those, um, how you call it, those clocks that you turn around upside down, hourglass clock? Correct me in the comments below if I said it in the wrong way and I mean, Show me some light, I mean, throw some light, um, because to me that's the right name, I'm not sure, but probably it is, I don't know. So, after I was done applying the hot glue and hold it for a little bit, because these things, I had to put some pressure, because remember, it's tied in the middle, so they don't want it like up and up, you see. But I did it. I work my way around and I make it work. And because I see raffia in the middle of the 
table torch and say, I'm going to use raffia again. And I use some of my raffia in the top, at the top, and at the bottom. And you're going to see over here. So what I did was I chose some of the thicker, um, some of the thicker ones, and I made I chose three first, and I made like a braid. I braided, and after I braided, I glue it around the top of the glue piece that is at the top. And I did the same thing at the bottom, you know? And I think I did two braids for each piece of the wood, of the wooden pieces. And I love it because um, I think in at the top, the top piece of wood, um, it got like a some real small um, nails. That's how they um, they don't use glue in this um, bamboo um, table torch. They use like a small um, nails, real tiny nails, and I don't like how they they look. So I cover them when I put the when I glue the raffia around of the pieces. So I went at the top and I went at the bottom with the same pattern. I think put two braids at the top, two, bra two braids at the bottom, and I at the um, in the middle. I decided then to um, place some raffia also, and it came out cute. I place a candle, I mean, I use a real candle, I mean, but you can use, I mean, a battery operated candle if you don't trust the bamboo um, sticks. But I I say, well, if they are using this like a turbo torch and you wanna use fire, so it's because it can hold fire. But let me tell you, I light it up and it looked real pretty though. I, like I say, it's not for everybody, but it's for me. And um, and I hope you like, you know, you guys like it too. If you don't want to use a real candle, you can use, I mean, um, a battery operated candle, like I say. Or oh, you know what? What I was thinking, you can use, I mean, some greenery. You know that loose greenery. I mean, like. Um, Anyway, loose greenery, you can like put it around of the bamboo sticks or some, you know, little plants. Like, how do you call those little plants? Anyway, you guys, you got my point. You can use it in any way you want to. I mean, I think I'm going to use some greenery, you know, sometime. But for now, I'm going to place a small candle that I bought also in Dollar Tree. They usually got those little glass candles. They are tiny ones. Um, like, oh, you can use a tea light. The battery operated tea lights. Or the real ones, because they are real small. I mean, I, I don't think it, nothing is gonna happen. Always be careful though. I'm be careful. Because like I say, after I light it up, I was like, checking on it but nothing happened and I really enjoy it you want to see at the end you guys I'm rambling I'm gonna let you keep watching what I did and I'm going to see you at the end
And this is what we got left, you guys. It came out so cute. Here you have it. You know, it's like sideways, but that's how it came, you know, like sideways like that. And I completely love it like that. I mean, it probably if I try to fix it, I break the bamboo sticks. So I just decide to leave it like that because it's unique. Here is with the candle. I think it's real cute and I really hope that you guys like it as well as all the other ones. I'm going to be seeing you in the next one, you guys. Bye-bye. Blessings.